another day, another hunt. Successful, I might add. Hmm. Oh, God. I recognize that scream anywhere. I'm not helping. Did they just name drop me? Oh my g Hey. Um, I'm sorry, can I help you? No, I see you're trespassing. Is that string behind you? Nah, what am I saying? Of course you can't, your eyes are too pathetic. Um, yeah, you're in my my neck of the woods now. Yeah. Take a hike. Have a nice day. Thank you. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. What are you doing here? Better yet, what? And you're right. Are you crazy? Because I think you are. You played with my feelings. You got my home burned to the ground. So what? Like, why are you here? Oh. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, I told you, I dealt with all the incoming bandit attacks before you even got word of it. Multiple times a week, you'd have new groups trying to set up camp around. And then they would just quickly move out. I'm sorry that your village was raided and torched. I didn't want that for that place. Oh, don't try to turn this around on me. You guys drove me out. This is not on me. I gave you guys protection, all of you, every single one of you, in that village, I protected you, and only like three of you acknowledged that I was okay, that I was friendly. The rest of you saw me as nothing but a monster, even you, gotta say you were pretty brave, walking alongside a monster like that, lying to them. So their home could be burned down. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to hear your apology. Your apology is not going to bring my home back. My memories. They're gone. <sighs> Listen. I'm not mad at you anymore. I wasn't then either. First time I opened up my feelings to someone, they turned out to be a liar. Someone that was just distracting me. And I'm supposed to believe that you actually meant what you said? I've gotten wiser since the last time we spoke. I can tell you're not lying. I'm sorry, I didn't hear your side of the story. I should have, I should have listened. I shouldn't have just assumed. Anyway, um... So what now? T 
take me up on my offer. Fine. Again, I can tell you're not lying. Come with me. Uh, this is my home. Forgive the big door. I have a big body. Yeah. I, um... I don't know what to know. Really. Basically, I've just been living on my own. Getting food and going to bed. I know. I'm, uh, I'm sorry that I wasn't there. Well, it's not okay. I could have just moved to a new spot. My memories are always going to be with me. I'll always remember. I shouldn't have left that village alone. Oh. Thank you for the hug. I'm really grateful that uh, you weren't lying to me. I was really hoping that you weren't. I was hoping that I was wrong. I had been hoping for so long that I was wrong. Because I actually started to care about you. You seem so adamant on wanting to be with me. So I believed you, and then I cared for you, and I wanted to be with you. I wanted to believe that you were telling the truth. A lot of days gone by that I haven't thought about what you said to me. And every time I feel empty. Yeah. It's okay, though. <sighs> yeah, I need sleep. I'm up very late at night thinking about what happened. About what I said. The things I said. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have called you a monster. Yeah, um, my, my answer still stands. <laughs> I would love to be with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you can, uh, you can get some sleep. I do have a bed. I can't really use it very well, but I do. Um, you're free to use it. I'll, uh, probably sleep in a web. <laughs> Get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Uh, oh, um, it, yeah, I love you too. <laughs> I haven't loved anyone in a long time, so it was nice to hear that. I love you too. I do. I do. I do love you. 